The race for Reliance Capital has entered the last lap. Eight suitors have placed their bids at the end of the deadline under the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code. Ritu Singh is here with more details. Ritu. Well, Shireen, that's right. There were 55 expressions of interest, if you remember, that were submitted and out of which 50 were shortlisted. And now only eight players have come forward to submit binding bids for Reliance Capital when the deadline ended on the 28th of November. Uh, now, remember, the bids were invited under two options. One was to bid for the entire Reliance Capital as a whole, which includes all of its subsidiaries and the holding company. And the other one, option two, was in clusters, that is separately for the insurance business, the wealth management business, the real estate port of it. Uh, a part of it and so on. Now we've been given to understand that five bids have come in uh, for Reliance Capital as a whole. These include primarily bids from Reliance Capital and Cosmia Holdings together under option one. Uh, now Piramal of course is a new entrant but Cosmia is actually uh, started by Sam Ghosh who used to be the head of Reliance Capital uh, before the company was dissolved. Uh, the other bids have come in from the Hinduja Group, from Oak Tree Capital, Torrent Group and UVAIF. Uh, then there are three other bids that have come in for separate clusters and these include Jindal power, choice securities and Atom investments, but unlikely that these three bids will be considered because lenders prefer selling the, the company as a whole. So the five options that we uh, first told you about are the ones that will be considered. Remember, there are claims of almost 31,000 crores for Reliance Capital. The bulk of the interest is in the general insurance business itself. So there are steep haircuts they're looking at. Now, the next step will be to see which one of these finally make the cut. All right, Ritu, many thanks for joining us. That is uh, the race for 